there, I'm Siona Sammartino, a Bastyr University graduate and a nutrition and culinary educator. If you're in a rut with your veggie routine or simply looking for a tasty whole foods option, then join me today as I show you how to make sautéed zucchini with cheese sauce. Ooh la la! For our cheese sauce, we're making a standard roux. However, we're jazzing it up with some creamy fontina cheese and a little bit of tasty gorgonzola. It's super tasty. I love it. So how you start a roux is you're going to get your pan nice and hot. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of butter. This is an organic valley pastured butter. We're going to allow that to melt. It just takes a quick minute here. Alright, so once your butter is nice and hot and melted, we're going to add one tablespoon of flour. And this is a whole wheat pastry flour, which has a lot more nutrients than the stripped, bleached white flours. You want to stir to combine your butter and flour. And you need to cook it for one to two minutes until it becomes hot and bubbly and slightly golden brown. And you want your heat on about a medium. Once you have your roux going, you'll go ahead and add one cup of warmed organic whole milk. And we're going to slowly drizzle this in here. And then the sauce takes about two to three minutes for it to start thickening up. And you just want to gently stir it. Once your sauce has thickened up, you're going to go ahead and add three quarter cup of fontina cheese. This is a creamy Italian cow's milk cheese. So delicious. And then we're going to go ahead and add just a couple of tablespoons of a creamy gorgonzola. A little of this goes a long way. It's going to add a rich, bold, nutty flavor, but it won't be too overwhelming because we're just adding a little bit. So two tablespoons of our creamy gorgonzola. That looks about right. And now you can see the sauce really thickening up. This is exactly what we're going for. We want to dive right in there. It looks so good. After you add your cheese, go ahead and add about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of sea salt. This is going to help pop those flavors and bring them all together. Just give it a stir. Okay, once your sauce has thickened up, it only takes about a minute once you add your cheese in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off our heat. We're going to garnish this with some fresh green garden chives as well as some paprika. Just a little pop of color. But before we do that, we need to saute our zucchini. I'm going to move this off the hot stove. And get my pan fired up for my zucchini. Alright, you want to get your pan nice and hot. We're going to do a medium to medium high heat for a saute. And then we're going to use one to two teaspoons of this Organic Valley pastured butter. Since we're using butter in the sauce, I figure why not carry the flavor in here as well and not mix new oils in. Then you're just going to go ahead and let that melt and coat the bottom of your pan before you add your zucchini. All right, we're going to add two medium zucchini, which I've cut into half moon shapes here. All you do is slice them in half and then cut those into nice about quarter inch pieces. And this is about four cups of zucchini. So you want a single layer of vegetables when you're sauteing so that they cook evenly. And then you're going to stir constantly. Saute comes from the French verb meaning to jump. So hence the constant motion. And you might get one coming out of the pan. <laughs> Now 
This takes about one to two minutes for our zucchini to get nice and tender. We're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt to this mixture as well. And even though our cheese sauce is nice and salty, if you don't add any salt to your veggies, they're going to be really bland and boring. So you have to layer your salt and seasoning as you go. All right, about a minute after it cooks, we're going to put about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt onto our zucchini. If you add the salt too early, the water comes out of your vegetables. They tend to cry, and then it fills the pan and they steam instead of saute. All right, it's been one to two minutes here, and my zucchini have softened up, but they're not looking soggy. That's a good sign. Let's turn our heat off. All right, let's just give it a quick taste to make sure that it has enough salt and seasoning. But again, you don't want these too salty because the sauce is salty. Great, it's perfect. Just a little bit. All right, we're going to add these to our bowl here. And then we're going to top it off with our creamy gorgonzola and fontina cheese sauce. Can't wait to get in there. So we're going to drizzle our fontina and gorgonzola cheese sauce right over the top of our sautéed zucchini. Look how velvety, rich, and delicious. And then to intrigue our eyes and our palates, we're going to garnish this with just a little bit of fresh garden chives and some paprika. And that's what I'm talking about. Now that you know how to make this rich, creamy, and nutritious sautéed zucchini with cheese sauce, you're only one bite away from Radiant Health. I'm Siona Sammartino from the Bastier University Kitchen. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.